Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Maddie, but you can also call me Permapup. In today's video, we're doing another end of the year Nintendo collection video. I did a video like this last year, so I'll link that in the comments if you want to see it. But this year, I want to do it a little differently. I actually really got into reading this year, so I haven't been picking up my Switch as much as I used to. Therefore, I am not buying as many Switch games as I used to. So what I want to do in this video, just to, just to spice things up, I want to go through blind react to all the games in my collection. And I'm going to tell you which games that I think are worth it and which games that maybe I shouldn't have bought. So I definitely think that when I was like, all in, Nintendo Switch, everything, like I was definitely buying games all the time, like trying new games all the time. But now that I've kind of like taken a step back, I'm only playing the games that like I really, 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 really like. I, wish, I just want to be able to tell you which games I really, 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 really like and which games that like maybe I shouldn't have bought those games. So what I'm gonna do, just to keep everything kind of random, I'm going to go ahead and take my Switch and I'm going to put it in alphabetical order. We're just going to go through all my games and see which ones I really liked and which ones not so much. Starting with AER Memories of Old. This might be a game that you've never even heard of. This is the type of game that I bought off the e-store for like a couple of dollars. I have not played it yet. So do I regret buying it? Not necessarily. I am excited to play it. Um, I kind of forgot about it though. So there's that. I have a feeling that's gonna happen a lot in this video. Next game, AI Somnium Files, the first one. I do want the second one, but the first one, so good. So good, so many plot twists. Um, AI Somnium Files is like a mystery murder game if you don't know what it is, but it's like anime style and it's just really good. I definitely would love to have the second version or the second game. Um, am I gonna buy AI Somnium Files 2 though? Probably not. If someone bought it for me, I'd be happy with that. But my thing is like, honestly, I don't really like the physical card games because I don't like switching them out. Would I rent it from the library? Yes. Next game is Animal Crossing. I mean, how many people really don't like Animal Crossing? Like, the <laughs> I like Animal Crossing. I have like 400 hours in Animal Crossing, um, which is nothing compared to some people, but I haven't actually played in a long time. I've been more into my farming games lately, but I I mean, come on, who doesn't like Animal Crossing? That one is definitely a worth the worth the buy. The next game is called Aspire, Ina's Tale. Again, possibly a game that you've never heard of. It's like a two or three hour long game. It cost me two or three bucks in the East store when I bought it on sale one day. I enjoyed it. It was a puzzle kind of game. So if you're the type of person that's good at like figuring out puzzles and you enjoy that, you would love this game. It's got really cute art style, but it's not too difficult. So I like this game. This is a good game. If you need like a cleanse, this is a good game to buy on sale. If you just want a game that you'll finish in maybe like, depending if you sit down and play all three hours or if you just spread it out 30 minutes, do a two to three levels every day you play for a week. It's a good like, I need a fresh game to finish kind of game. On to B, Bravery Default 2. The final demo. <laughs> Emphasis on demo. Thank God there was a demo for this game because I was considering buying it. I played the demo, don't like the demo. If you're the type of person that likes to play like fighting games, not like Call of Duty fighting games, I mean like battling games, you'll love it. I do not, <laughs> so it's not for me. I did not buy the full version. Daddish is my next game. Let me tell you something. I loved Daddish so much that when Daddish 2 and Daddish 3 came out, I bought them. I only bought them for a few dollars each. I'm a completionist, okay? So I want to finish Daddish 1 before I go on to Daddish 2 and 3, which I already bought. They're in my Switch. But Daddish 1, I'm getting to the point in the game, I, I think I'm towards the end. It's getting so hard. I've been on the same, I've been stuck on the same level for months, okay? It's getting too hard for me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I think it's so funny that he's a radish and he's a dad and he's chasing after all these kids. And I really want to start playing Dadish 2 and Dadish 3. I think I'm honestly getting to the point with Dadish number one that I have to give up. And I hate that because I like finishing the game before I move on to the next one, but I give up. 
This is me officially saying I give up. I'm going to start playing Dadish 2 and Dadish 3 at this point. Uh, my next game is called Eli. I don't know what this is. Uh, this was a game I bought for probably 2 to $3 again in the eShop. I, I can't tell you anything about this game. I don't know what it is. If you know this game, want to tell us about it in the comments. I completely forgot that I have Fall Guys on my Switch. I don't really play that anymore. It was free though, so can you really regret a free game? No. Maybe if you like have limited space. But, I mean, I like Fall Guys. I more so like to watch my fiance play Fall Guys. Like, I don't really want to play Fall Guys anymore. Like, I could uninstall this right now and I'd be fine. The next game is called Grand Guilds. Again, from the confusion in my voice, I, I don't know what this game is. I don't know what it's about. I do remember buying it. I've never even opened this game. So maybe I should, but I've never played it. The next game is called Hoko Life. Shout out to my fiance. I love him so much. He bought it for me. He surprised me one day with it because I also, um, at the beginning of 2023, I think, I made a Nintendo wish list video and it was on my wish list and he's so sweet and he like went and he like bought it for me as a surprise. I started playing. I liked it. I liked that it felt like Animal Crossing, but like the older version, like on the GameCube Animal Crossing. But here's my thing, okay? In Hogo Life, you get more customizable freedom. <laughs> That's a word. You get more freedom with customizing your items. And so for me, it was too hard. <laughs> I didn't want to do all that. I like that in Animal Crossing, it's already done. And if anything, I just need some materials and then I'll, and I'll build it. But in this game, like, you have to, like, you can make your own tables, but, like, then you have to get the leg of the table to match with, like, the flat part of the table. And, like, it was too much work. I couldn't figure it out. I, I gave up because the mission started including like customizing furniture and so I gave up pretty quickly so that is a game it's definitely on my like regret list shouldn't have bought it the next game is Luigi's Mansion 3 I actually kind of forgot that I had this one just because I haven't played it in a while again it's one of my physical card games so I have to like physically switch it out and I don't switch my card games very often, so that would be why I probably haven't played it in a while. But I do like this game. I like that you can make a two-player. My only beef with this game is that it takes too long for it to become a two-player game. So for someone like me, where like it takes me a little longer to get through like games like this, it's just a little too long for it takes too long for someone to like start playing with me. Like my fiance was sitting there watching me play, like waiting to join in. And he gave up. <laughs> and he wouldn't play his own game. So I wish that it was like co-op from like the actual start of it or at least like 10 minutes in but i still like it oh my god i forgot about this game my universe pet clinics cats and dogs <laughs> yes i am five years old no but for real this game is actually really good <laughs> it's so stress relieving i kind of forgot that i had it um i have a feeling i'm gonna start playing it a little bit more because like i'm just so happy talking about it would only buy on sale though do not buy this game if it's not on sale it is not worth anything more than the five dollars maybe that i paid for it it's definitely like a game that makes me really happy it's just so easy you take care of the pets you like get money you slowly upgrade the vet clinic um it's like sims on the easiest possible level you know low low work high reward love this game but only on sale. My next game, Naruto Shippuden, and it's the uh, Ninja Storm 3 collection. I don't know, it's right here. <laughs> it's like all three games. Um, Do I regret buying this? No, 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 no. Here's the thing though, I don't regret it. I didn't need all three though, because I didn't realize how long it would take me to get through even just one. I haven't even gone through the first one. What makes me think I'm ever going to get through all three? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's never going to happen. This game only cost me like $10, though. It's $10 for all three games. So I definitely don't regret it. If you like Naruto, you'll love it. But I definitely feel like I'm never going to finish the first game. <laughs> so why did I buy three? Here's a game I do regret. Ninai Kunai 2. It's got a really long title. Ninai Kunai 2 Revenant Kingdom something about a prince. Um, I don't like this game. I straight up don't like this game, which is so funny because if you saw my video from last year, I talked about how much I loved Ninai Kunai 2, but that's because I was only like six hours in, okay? Now I'm like further into the game. 
I'm not interested. I don't like it. I liked how in the beginning of the game you got to like fight those mice and like you got to fight your way out of the kingdom. I just don't like that. Ninai Kunai 2 is similar to that bravery demo game that I talked about earlier. If you like running into like monsters all the time and like having that combat, you'll love Ninai Kunai 2. I don't know about Ninai Kunai 1. I never played it, but you'll love it. For me though, Oh my god, I'm so tired of having to run into these serpent monsters all the time. Like, I just want to play the storyline, and I'm down to, like, build the kingdom up. Um, I'm not gonna lie, though. I don't want to have to constantly worry about upgrading the kingdom. I don't want to do that shit. I just want to, like, have people join my new kingdom. I want to build my kingdom up. I want to meet new characters, because the storytelling aspect is fun. But I, I can't do all the combat. I don't play this one anymore. I could live without it, and I will. The next game I bought probably another game you've probably never heard of it's called pid i literally bought it again another two to three dollar game that i bought i bought it so my fiance and i could play together i bought this game a very long time ago never played it he won't play it with me do you hear that tim i'm still waiting pikmin 3 okay i loved pikmin 3 it did take me a bit to finish it i borrowed it from my brother and i've given it back to him now i was always a pikmin girl like from like the gamecube days we would play pikmin in my house and stuff so definitely really liked pikmin 3 but i will say i'm glad that i borrowed it i don't think that i'm the type of person that like like i like these little two to three dollar games that you can finish and move on you know like that or like a farming sim okay i don't like these long haul games that take a long time to get through which is why i haven't finished luigi's mansion either like i need short games so i'm glad that i borrowed that from my brother because i don't want to pay 60 dollars to play a game that is going to take me forever to finish um another game because i'm five years old pokemon cafe <laughs> This game is a mobile game, I think, but it's available on the Switch. It's cute. Um, when I was more active on my Switch, I would, like, play it a little bit more. Now, I think I'd rather play, like, My Pet Universe or whatever that game is called than this. Um, I'm pretty sure this game was free, though, so I definitely don't regret it, but I definitely don't need it anymore. You probably don't need it either. Unless you really like Pokemon, then you'll like it. Speaking of Pokemon, Pokemon Legends Arceus loved this game i loved it i finished it no i did not catch every single pokemon so i've not met arceus but i like i loved it i played it all the time and it was a physical card game and i i would switch it in and out to play it i loved the roaming freedom like i loved pokemon arceus i still do i don't really play it anymore i think i've accepted the fact that i'm never gonna catch all these pokemon man like gotta catch them all not this girl. I'm not going to catch them all. And I'm okay with that. I enjoyed it. I have like over 60 hours in this game. Like, I got my money's worth on it. Well, it was a birthday gift. But like, the person who bought it for me, my mom. Mom, I played the game. Money not wasted. Money well spent. Um, more Pokemon games here. Pokemon Unite. We're in the P section of my, of my Switch collection right now. Pokemon Unite is great love pokemon unite i would so much rather play pokemon unite than fall guys pokemon unite is a free game it's one of those games that you kind of like transition you just play one to two rounds of this before you go on to an actual game that you're going to play for a couple hours you know what i mean so i really like pokemon unite i like that it's all free um i like the 10 minute battling at a certain point though because you level up right so i don't really play the leveled version of it anymore because like i leveled up but now all these other people are also as good as I am. And I'm like, ah, no, <laughs> I don't want this. I want to win. I don't want to fight for it anymore. So I don't play it as much anymore. But that's because that's just because in general, I don't play my Switch as much anymore. Um, But I do still really like Pokemon Unite. I feel like it's a po game that everyone who likes Pokemon at least a little bit should have because it's free. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be controversial or not. Um, I do regret buying Pokemon Violet. And I feel really bad saying that because my fiance bought it for me full price for my birthday this year. I've really taken a step back from how much Nintendo Switch content I watch on YouTube. And I think that like this was one of those games that I bought because of YouTube. Um, and I loved Pokemon Arceus. I said that they would come back before. I think that's another reason why I bought it. I loved Pokemon Arceus. And I was excited for, like, how much we could customize our character in Pokemon Violet. I didn't need this game. I could have lived without it. It wasn't a game that I was always going to be like, but what if I love it? Like, I should have just not gotten it. I should have stuck to Pokemon Arceus. 
Oh my god, we're at one of my favorite games in my entire collection, Rune Factory 5. Okay, this game is awesome. The love and trust are all interesting. They're also fun, but this game is not too hard. It I will say that like for someone like me, like I am not very good at like the hard games, okay? It was a little it's getting a little hard towards the end. Um <laughs> I still have not finished the main storyline, which says a lot about how I'm not that great of a player. I don't like to rush through the storyline. Like, for me, I'd rather build my relationship with the characters before I start, like, doing the storyline. So, like, I was more so focused on the characters before the storyline. But, yeah, I love this game. I will say it's not a game I play all the time. I do have a lot of hours in it, like 80 hours or something like that. But when I do play it, I'll play it every day for, like, a week straight. And then I'll finish a main point in the storyline and then I kind of don't play again for a while and then a few more weeks go by and then I pick it up again so it's a game that I always go back to though so it's definitely like probably my top three another game that's free sky children of the light I like this game I don't understand this game do I regret it absolutely not I love the flying I love that you can like kind of talk to online characters without actually like talking talking so I think it's like a safe game to play if, you're, if it's like an online game i just don't get it i don't understand if i finished it or not i know that it's ongoing because there's always events but yeah i just don't get it <laughs> i don't know but i like it i haven't played it in a while but i do still pick it up sometimes and it's free so i do like it my next s game slime rancher the first one the ploidable edition um how do i feel about slime rancher i am gonna say regret i'm gonna say regret only because this is kind of similar to sky children of the light i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing like i know that there's other areas to unlock um but like you know those if, if you play slime rancher they have those like the regular slimes but then they have the huge slimes and the huge slimes i've looked it up because i'm trying to figure out what i'm supposed to do they have like keys and stuff to help you get into like unreachable areas i've never gotten the key i don't understand it so this is a game that like i'm not gonna lie actually the past few days i have kind of wanted to play so i'm probably gonna pick it up and play for like 20 minutes in with before 2023 ends but like that's it you know and like i could live without it it's not a game that i like love it's just confusing i don't understand what i'm supposed to do i'm just kind of like leveling up my farm i guess and like collecting slime and money not my favorite didn't need it will not buy the second one story of seasons a wonderful life i actually was still actively playing this game on the gamecube trying to like finish it but like obviously the gamecube runs slow and stuff and like my controllers for the gamecube were crap but oh my god i love this game when they announced that they were doing it on the switch i literally was like Bleh! and i got rid of my gamecube stuff and i was like nope don't need that anymore like i literally only had the gamecube for story of seasons so i was like yeah i don't need it anymore like i'm good <laughs> i'm just gonna wait for it to come out on the switch i love it i'm only actually a year in again guys i don't play as much as i used to but when i do play it is gonna be either like story of seasons Pine pioneers of olive town or a wonderful life uh rune factory 5 or like animal crossing those are really the main games here that i am always going back to and i love this game i think it's so good i think anybody who likes farming games should have at least this or like pioneers of olive town one more story of seasons game for you uh friends of mineral town i actually think from my understanding people seem to like mineral town more than pioneers of olive town i've never played it only because i just want to get through pioneers of olive town i don't care if it takes me another year i don't care if it takes me two more years i'm a completionist we talked about this earlier so i want to like finish pioneers of olive town and then i'll go into pioneers of mineral town i will play it though 100 percent. i already know i want to marry the girl with the pink hair i just don't want to play it yet i kind of cheated <laughs> I've been talking about Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, forgetting that I haven't talked to you guys about that yet. Um, I love this game, 100%. One of my top games. I love that game. Done. The Companion. Probably a game you've never heard of. It's a game that I've never heard of. I don't know what this game is. <laughs> Do I regret this? I don't know yet. Probably didn't need to buy it. But the reason I bought it was because of this game, The First Tree. 
I love that game. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's again, it's another two to three hour game. It's a short game. I bought it for two to three dollars, and I loved this game so much. And this game has a fox in it, and so the champion also has a fox. So I think I was just kind of hoping it would be similar. But anyway, the first tree. 100% do not regret that one. I loved that game. I like buying games that I can finish. My only beef with the first tree is if you're going to play it, you have to finish a full chapter. Otherwise, it will boot you back to the beginning of the chapter. Very dumb. Very stupid. Very frustrating. Um, so for me, I was so excited to play. And each chapter is kind of long. So if you're going to play it, I would recommend do one chapter and then close the game. Otherwise, you're going to like get halfway into the next chapter, and if you get stuck or confused at all and want to turn the game off and come back to it later, you will have to start over per chapter. That's the only beef with the game. It was a beautiful story. It made me cry. I loved it. My next game, The Last Campfire. This game is all puzzles. I really like this game, but this is another game where I just, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I want to play this game. I love puzzle games. I'm good at puzzles. Like my fiance, very good at almost every type of game. But when it comes to like a puzzle game, he will hand me the controller and I will do it. I just don't understand where I'm supposed to go next. Like every time I walk around to try and find a new area or to find the people that the little spirits are telling me to go find, I can't find them. I can't find them. And when I try to Google it, nobody else can either, I guess, because nobody, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. So I'm not going to say I regret it because for the few hours I have played it, I really enjoyed it. I would like to keep playing. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do because this is a game that I do go back and I open um, and I do play it. Every time I play it, though, it, I remind myself that I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. <laughs> the next game, uh, The Suicide of Rachel Foster, haven't played it yet. Can't tell you anything about it. I'm sure it'll be a beautiful story, but as someone who is more into books now than my Switch, I probably just shouldn't have been buying it. Tools up. I love this game. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up for Tools up. Um, I love this game. This is a game like, this is my Fall Guys. Like, this is the game I will play as a transition, and then I'll turn it off. So, I love this game. And you can play with multiple people. So, I have played it with one of my friends before, but it's just about you kind of, like, cleaning up a house um, and, like, putting up wallpaper and stuff, but it's timed. It's really funny. Don't get discouraged. It is a little confusing in the beginning, but you will get the hang of it. If I did, you will. I like this game. We have come to the last game. Um, My last game is What Comes After. Again, this is a game. I made sure to buy this game uh, cheap. I wouldn't pay full price for it, but this game is beautiful. It's one of those games. I think it took me under two hours to finish. It was like cartoony art style. It was a beautiful story. It just made... This was one of those games where like I was having a hard day at school. I'm a teacher. And I came home and I played this game because I needed to cry. So it's definitely a, a little bit of a sad game. I don't think it's like the saddest game ever. But I specifically played this game on a day where I was like, I know I need to cry. I just don't know how to get myself to cry. And I played it, and it was so good. I'm not saying that you're going to cry if you play it. I'm just saying that if you need to cry, play it. All right, that is all the games in my Nintendo Switch collection. Those are all my quick thoughts on every game. Um, games I kind of regret, games that I haven't played yet, and games that I always will go back to. So I'm always going to go back to any Story of Seasons game. Animal Crossing and Rune Factory 5. I really hope that you enjoyed this interesting take on my 2023 Nintendo Switch collection video. Talk about it in the comments with me. Are there any games that I haven't played yet that you're like, girl, you need to pick up that game in your Switch immediately and start playing it? Until the next video, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and check you out in my video that is on the screen for you, and I'll see you over there. Bye, you guys. See you there. No, Tim is great. <laughs> He's great, but he won't play with me. This is all delusional, isn't it? I don't know. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.